15 million pounds of food dyes are sold every year in the U.S. Why? Foods are artificially colored to make unattractive mixtures of basic ingredients and food additives acceptable to consumers. See, food colorings are added to countless processed food products to conceal the absence of fruits, vegetables, and other ingredients, and make the food appear better or of greater value than it actually is. Otherwise, cherry popsicles might actually look like they have no cherries in them. I've talked about the role of food dyes in causing ADH symptoms in kids, but what about their role in cancer? Due to cancer concerns, red dye number one was banned in 1961. Red number two was banned in 1976, and then red number four was banned. What about red number three, used today in everything from sausage to maraschino cherries? It was recently found to cause DNA damage in human liver cells in vitro, comparable to the damage caused by a chemotherapy drug whose whole purpose is to break down DNA. But you know, red number three was found to influence children's behavior more than 30 years ago, and interfere with thyroid function over 40 years ago. Why is it still legal? This is an article from the New York Times about red number three, published way back in 1985. Already by then, the FDA had postponed action on banning the dye 26 times, even with the acting commissioner of the FDA saying red number three was of greatest public health concern, imploring his agency to not knowingly allow continued exposure at high levels, in the case of red number three, of the public to color additives that have clearly been shown to induce cancer. The credibility of the Department of Health and Human Services would suffer if decisions are not made soon on each of these color additives. That was written 30 years ago. At the end of the day, industry pressure won out. FDA scientists and FDA commissioners recommend that the additives be banned, but there's been tremendous pressure to delay the recommendations from being implemented. In 1990, Concerned about cancer risk, the FDA banned the use of red number three in anything going on our skin, but it remained legal to continue to put it in anything going into our mouths. Now, the FDA said at the time that they were planning on stopping that too, and end all remaining uses of red number three, lamenting that the cherries in 21st century fruit cocktail could well be light brown. That was 1990. Over 20 years later, it's still in our food supply. After all, the agency estimated that the lifetime risk of thyroid tumors in humans from red number three in food was at most 1 in 100,000. Based on today's U.S. population, that would indicate that red number three is causing cancer in about 3,000 people. 